Hello friends, it's Heather and I'm back with uh, another video and I thought we would just kind of pick up where we left off the last time with our small um, golden image girl which I had saved as an XCF file so that we could um, continue to open it in the future and work in layers. Um, if I wanted to, I'm going to take the time now to show you how uh, if I keep only the small angel visible and I turn the eye off so that these are not visible, I can now save this image over here in the file, save as, and I can save it as a, um, we'll say gold angel, how about small gold angel period GIF as in GIF, even though I know it's supposed to be GIF, but I'm still making fun of that. I'm going to come down to my save button and left click and it's going to save on the second click it seems. I'm going to have my export window will show up and you just hit export. Don't worry about anything. You'll have this little save as a GIF file and you just hit save. And so now we've got this small gold angel GIF um, file that we can close it here and then if I want to um, I can open her so we'll go back over to open recent and we've got the small gold angel gif and if you look over here at our layers box you're going to know that this is a gif because all that will show up will be one angel and the layer will have that just that one make this smaller so you can see it better yeah a little more okay so you'll see that the layer corresponds, that it's just the one smaller angel um, and not the one on the white background or the other ones. And I'm going to come back over to this um, my large image window. This is just another um, window in GIMP, and that's how you can open images, just by going to File within GIMP. You can open as many as you like, um, and the windows stay open. So I'm going to go ahead now and open the original, Open Recent, and I'm going to go to the Gold Angel um, Here's the gold angel GIF file, which is a transparent one. Here is the gold angel XCF file. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open that one. And so here is our one. And let me get the other one here. Interesting. What's going on here? Oops. I should have two files here. This is my Gold Angel XCF. There we go. You can tell this is the um, the original one because it's got the three layers. And the other one is right here. So here's our Small Angel Gold. They kind of look the same right now because it is the same and just that's showing. It's just that this one has got three layers. So, and I just had them turned off. Um, a nice feature of GIMP is that you can have many images open in, and if you click on your image, the layers for that image will show up automatically. So I only have one layer for this image, and I have three for the XCF image. So I'm going to go ahead and close my GIF file because we don't need anything to do with that. And um, if I haven't made any changes or haven't done anything silly that I don't want to have changed, I just click save to save anyway. Otherwise you can just put don't save and just close it and it'll remain the way it was before. So now we have our um, smaller angel and I thought we could use a couple more um, tools on this. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to highlight so that I can select my second layer and then I'm going to go up to the layers and I'm going to hit this button go to layers menu and I'm going to move this over so you can see it layers menu and this time I'm just going to duplicate my layer and it's going to duplicate the one that I highlighted and you'll notice that it just automatically names it angel to copy so now I can come down here and turn the eye off and you won't see that one you'll only see this one so I want to show you another um, kind of a common mistake that people will make I make it sometimes I'm like what happened what happened so when you're working on something you may come across this and um, hopefully you'll remember this and you'll kind of giggle 
So you'll be like, oh yeah, Heather did that. She's crazy. I'm going to move my brushes right over here. Um, so I've got both my layers. And I'm going to come over here and choose my eraser. And so now it's slightly depressed, so you can tell that it's selected. And I have my eraser. Uh, your eraser will use work with your brushes, so whatever brush you're using will be the eraser you have. So I'm using a larger size brush, which I made, um, you know, so I have a bigger size. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start erasing. And you're going to be, nothing is erasing. And all I want to do is get rid of this wing, because I decided I want to make her just a girl. But it didn't work. So I'm going to think, oh my gosh, what did I do? Why is it not working? And sometimes I'll push like a whole bunch of buttons and undo, undo, undo. And then it dawns on me that, oh, that's right. I have the, um, I'm on the second, or this layer here. This is the one that's highlighted. So if I were to close this one so that you can see it and you could only see this one, you'll see that I have now, yes, indeed, uh, erased her wing. So I can go up here and hit Undo Item Visibility. So it's just going to undo everything I've done. Undo Eraser. Undo Eraser. And we should be good right there. So um, now I'm going to come back. And another thing that you'll do is, let's say you just made your second copy. So now I've got both my angel copies. And I'm on the correct copy. And I'm going to take my Eraser tool again. And I'm going to get rid of this wing. And yet again, oh my goodness, it's not erasing. Then you have to remember, oh, that's right. Silly me, I left the eyeball on so it's visible. But if I turn it off, then you'll see that, yes, I did indeed um, erase the correct layer. So I'm going to stay on this layer because I'm thinking, hey, you know, let's just make this girl, look, instead of an angel, just a girl. Um, and to make this easier for myself, I'm going to use another tool, the magnifying tool. You'll notice that it gives you an option for zooming out, which makes her smaller. Or I can zoom in, which is what I want. Make her bigger. And you got your scroll bars here on the top and on the other. And then if by chance you click on another window on accident, it'll just bring that one to the front. Um, so all you have to do is go down to your taskbar at the bottom of your computer and bring back up the one that you want. Um, OK. so. Now I'm going to make her bigger so I can see a little better and scroll. And let's go back get my eraser tool. That's kind of a big eraser. So now I'm going to look for a smaller one so I can do some finer detail here and not feel too bad about it. And I'm just going to come up here. I'm even going to take away some of that weight. A lot of times I will use the eraser tool and I'll go back and even um, just clean up the image a little bit by taking away what's there because no one else is going to know what was originally there unless they go and look and um, if I'm going to be cutting it out with my silhouette it's just easier to not have little scragglies because um, then it's just not as easy to cut as if it is a nice smooth clean surface so now I have just a sweet little girl let's uh Hit back on this and zoom out so you can see her whole little body there. Also, I could go up here and I could go to view and I could hit the zoom and I could revert zoom or I can go back to one on one, which is where we're at. Um, and that is what I want the one on one. All right, let's say we've done our work now. We don't want to lose anything in case the power were to go out. So it's good to come up and hit File and just hit Save because you already know it says XCF. So we got the file extension that we want. So you can just hit Save and not Save As. And it will automatically, um, you know, it just saved it for you. Because remember, GIMP does not save images in your work. You have to do that yourself. Be nice. Maybe in GIMP, you know, whatever, 2.8 or something, they'll add that where it just automatically saves. All right, um, I think that will be it for this session. Uh, we'll start on a, another one next time. So have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.